Hey team, so today we will be learning web scraping. Now web scraping refers to the process of extracting data from websites. Now in order to do that, we will be using Next.js, which is a full stack framework, and we'll be using Puppeteer to extract or scrape data from Amazon. So grab your virtual shovels and let's start digging. Let me explain what we are working with here. So I'm in the home page right now, uh, page.tsx under the app folder. And this is a client component because we're using states. And if I scroll down to the HTML part, we have a form, we have an input and a button. Now we're tracking the input value with some states, um, which is called search prompt. And search results basically tracks the data which we get from the backend right here. So response, we set it here. Set search results product, which is the array of objects which we get from the backend. And then we have a is loading state for tracking the loading state. And if I scroll down, then we are mapping over the search results and displaying it in the front end. So if I go to the browser here, this is how it looks. And if I go back to VS Code here, we have three routes, which is screenshot, search element and search prod. If I go to screenshot here, route.ts, this is a generic example which they provide us. So this takes the screenshot of the browser. So if I open Thunder Client here, if I go here. Uh, yeah, so this is HG, this is accesses that route here, which is called screenshot, screenshot. And it takes in a params URL um, to go to that site. So if I hit send, it should give me a screenshot as the response yeah and this one search element again this is another example which they provide us if i go to the site here this example basically shows how to access this input and whatever the user types in we can go to that page that's what this example shows us these are two generic example which they give us but what we'll be working with is the search prod. So this is the backend, how it looks at the start. It just gives a response saying hello. And if I go to the package.json here, I have Puppeteer installed. I have Chiro installed and Next.js 13.4.2. So that's basically what we are working with. Now without further ado, we can continue with the backend part. To start off, let's change this to post as we'll be sending data here. And then we'll import puppet here. And if I go back to page.tsx, we need to bring the search prompt to the backend. So we'll have to destructure it. Let me destructure it. So we'll destructure it from request.json. And what will be what we'll be destructuring is called search prompt and we'll rename it to user search i will also validate it so if if there is no user search we'll give a response called pl uh, saying please provide a search prompt then we can have uh, we'll create we'll instantiate a browser and we can have a try catch block here and inside that we can start playing around with the puppeteer so if i go browser and say await puppeteer launch so this basically um, launches a new instance of the browser so if i go to mozilla here it i open a new um, browser like so so there are two browsers so this this line basically says that so in the next what we have to give is the page so we have to instruct it to create a new page we say await browser dot new page. Then we have to go to a specific page. So we have to say await page dot go to amazon.com as we'll be using Amazon. So www.amazon.com. Then uh, if I go back to Mozilla here, we need to, okay, let me close the, we need to somehow access this um, input box right here so in the example which they provided us they show this so the way you do it is say await page dot type two tab search text box user search so if I go to 
go back to Mozilla, open DevTools, and I click go here. So you can see the ID of this input is two tab search text box. So we get that here and we also insert a user search here. Now for us to go to that page, you have to say await page dot keyboard dot press enter. So once the user hits enter, it goes to that page. Then we have to, we need to wait for the page to load. So we say await page dot um, wait for navigation for navigation. So this will wait for the promise to resolve. And then we can get get the HTML. So const HTML. We await page dot content. So let me console log out the HTML to show you what we are dealing with here. So if I save this and open my dev tools, I go back to Mozilla, go to our server and say catch hit search. We wait for it and we can we'll remove this uh, warning shortly. Yeah, so we get the we basically get the HTML here because we're console logging it out now in order to remove the warning not to remove the warning what you have to do is give in new oh, sorry you need to give mention headless to new so this will get rid of that warning which you saw earlier and we'll also remove the console log now we'll be using something called chero now i don't know about you but when i heard the word chero that reminds me of a cereal so thinking about cereal i was wondering what's your favorite cereal for me it's conflicts now, now fire me in the comment section let me explain why i'm not a whale all right i have taste buds so this is how i make my cereal i take a bowl put in the cereal and to all those viewers out there who put milk and then the cereal stop seriously stop so now once you have the cereal you put in a dash of cinnamon a little honey now i say a little honey but it's more like five spo spoonful of extravaganza then you pour in your milk now say to me that conflicts taste like cardboard let me know on a scale of one to ten how much you all like it now that's enough for my epic recipe and let's just move on so we'll import everything so start as chi rio will import it from Shirio. So this basically allows us to nitpick some of the elements from the DOM. So now under the HTML, now let's start with the Shiro part. So const um, dollar. Where is the dollar? I, always, I cannot seem to find dollar every time. So we take in the dollar, Shiro, and then we load the HTML inside it. Now, next what we'll do is, now we'll need to scrape parts of the HTML DOM. So if I go to Mozilla here, um, this is Amazon's main page. If I say watch, enter, go here. So what we want to extract is the title, the price, the review, and the image. So in order to do that, go to VS Code back, I do paste in here. So what I'm basically doing is I'm creating a constant called price, title, review, image URL and this basically is uh, this is basically jQuery so if I go back to Mozilla open my dev tools I click in this and what I want to extract is this currency right here so if I say if I click here if you can see here uh, what we are extracting is a um, dash off screen so here we are selecting span and inside the span we are choosing the class name called a dash off screen so this chero right here works as a css selector this basically acts like a query selector so we're selecting span and the class name a dash off screen so if i go back to mozilla we are selecting this part and if i again click this and the image part this is the s image the name of this class of this image tag is s image if i go back here 
Um, if I go to image, it's image, and we are selecting dot s image. The same goes for the reviews and the titles. That's what we are basically doing here, and we are doing it in this way because we want it. We want the output as a array of objects. That's why we have to um, separately create um, an array of prices, array of titles, array of reviews, and array of image URLs. Next, what we'll do is we'll create another constant called products. Products. Um, products. And this will be an array. Oops. Be an array. Now we'll have a for loop. So we are looping over the data, uh, not the data. We'll, we are looping over this. So uh, titles dot length. So the list of titles we are looping over that, and we are creating a new object called items. We are accessing the price, title, review, and image URL, and we are pushing that object to this array right here. And then what we can do is we can return a next uh, response dot json and we can say products yeah so that's part is done now we'll just have to fill in the catch so catch will again return um, next response dot json error uh, yeah that's fine I guess I'll hit save and we can remove this okay yeah before before actually um, we finish the backend we'll also have to finally we'll have to do something so if everything go if there's a catch or whether it's a success we'll need to close the browser so await browser dot close actually what we'll do is uh, we'll change this error to an object so error and give an error to saying an error occurred and we can give the error dot message okay we're getting an error because of typescript i'll just give it as any please don't fire me for this this is not typescript uh, um, video it's a puppeteer video so i'll just leave it as any with that we are done with our backend so now we can move to the mozilla and we can try typing in something here. So let me open my dev tools, go to console, and if I go back to VS Code, go to page.tsx, I'm console logging out the products, and I'm also, products is basically the response, products here, we're destructuring it, and we're also logging out the search results state. So if I go back here, I'll say watch, and hit search, We'll wait for some time. And I'm getting undefined. So if I go back to my <coughs> VS code here, and if I see right here, I've made a mistake. This should be an object. I'll save that again. Refresh this. And again, hit watch. Hit search. And let's wait again and see. So now we're basically scraping the data from Amazon. We can try one other one. So I'll just type in hit in cars, hit enter, go here, and I'll search cars here as well. And we can cross reference whether we're getting the correct um, data. So this cars still loading here. Yeah, so it's changed. So this is what I'm getting here. And if I go here, it doesn't quite match. Okay, I know why that is because this, if you can see, it's Amazon that AE, and if I go back here, it is. Let me expand this. Where is it? Route. Yeah. If I go back here, it's Amazon.com. So if I go to, let's just go to Amazon.com, and let's go to type in cars here. Hit enter. Yeah, so now I think it should match. Yeah, so we have this thing, this cars queen is here, and this one is here. And if you check the review, 28 price 40, 46 dollars. 
again here 46 45.99 and 28 28 so it's matching so this is how you use puppeteer to create data